all of those sweet love songs. It just, it just makes me wonder if you guys have been lucky in love or not. Like, have, have you been lucky in love? What, what's the story there? Um, a long time ago for me. I don't know. Steve was in love. I gotta go for it. Yeah, and, and it's been good. And, and uh, yeah, She's in Australia right now. She's having a good time. Uh, His girlfriend's actually here right now, Bladen. Hey, baby, I love you. I love you, baby. I'm, I'm uh, single and looking, by the way. That's cool, that's cool. Kyle's got a girl, too. Okay, so ladies, it's about a 50-50 split here. That's still good for us. We're, we're glass half soldiers. the brothers, right? the richters. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about Bowmanville. I think that you guys started there and I'm curious as to like when it went from jamming to thinking like hey I think, I think we have something here I think maybe we're gonna have to hit the road like when did that happen? <laughs> 2009 we we just thought you know what we cannot stay in Bowmanville any longer you know we're we're all graduated and um, <laughs> from high school and uh, <laughs> and yeah we just thought you know what we're gonna pick up what we rented a what we bought like a the 1970s house trailer and we just went across the states we started in like Missouri went down to Florida lived in trailer parks and you know roughed it out well, went that's to LA. crazy yeah, first so it's crazy what did your family and friends think when you said you know what we're gonna buy this old camper and hit the road did they think you were crazy you know what surprisingly no they, they actually you know our families believe in us 110 percent like <laughs> Give it up for mommy and daddy. Honestly, a lot of parents would not have been cool with that, so that was amazing. No, no. I hear you guys stocked the camper up with like a lot of KD as well, like yeah. craft dinner. Yeah, brown beans, KD, um, <laughs> kippers, which are like, you know, um, smoked uh, fish. <laughs> they're really stinky, but they're we also good. We didn't even have electricity, so we had to go cook it on yeah. a picnic table, like yeah. 50 yards away from our trailer. Wow. Beside all the peacocks that live right beside us. So. Well, I think that might have something to do with why you guys are so passionate about your music, because you had to start from scratch. You didn't have a daddy who was in the industry or something like that. I think that's really cool. You guys had to start from the bottom. Oh, go to Wingpit. <laughs> go to Wingpit. 
pit. Wing pit. Guys, you gotta go to Menchie's. It's a place to be, I'm telling you. We actually just got a, our first Menchie's in Bowmanville.